Another thing I want to talk to you all about is I don't understand. Is this all superhero generation? Y'all want to be superheroes. I remember when I was growing up, I wanted to be cowboy. I said, just give me a six-shooter, a dusty hat, and a trusty horse I can call Joe, and I'll be fine. I'll be just fine. My generation wasn't obsessed with no cape wearing tight spandex cutting off the circulation, fellas. Like, look at that bat guy always saying his name and he's barely able to say it at that. Look at his fucking suit. It's wrapped around him tighter than the bandages of a mummy's dick. No wonder when he tries to introduce himself, it sounds like he's got a dang bug in his throat. And all he seems to want to do is beat up that circus clown. Why? What did Bozo ever do to that caped feller? And that flying alien? That flying Kansas boy? That guy who always acts like a sissy about that green stuff? Yeah, he's not a good influence either. He's able to leap tall buildings in a single bound, but y'all kids try to leap a tall building. What you think you are, Kermit? You think you're a frog? Well, this ain't no frog jumping game, son. In real life, dumbass frogs that miss a jump, they go splat. Become dinner, and frog legs are mighty tasty. So maybe chill on the whole rushing towards your death thing and just accept y'all ain't one of the super friends, just one of the super fucking furries. And gravelly voice guy, that flying Jesus are bad, but they don't hold a candle to the angry green troll mister and that Mr. Patriot and that shocker guy and that guy who probably fucks robots. And y'all really want to be a robot fucker or a human bug zapper? I sure the hell hope not, because y'all ain't no venturers, more like whimperers.